So are you in the gap or are you playing the game? Drew Mofos, welcome back to another episode of The Underestimated Entrepreneur. Massive shout out to all of those who are in my Dominate online hub. It's absolutely awesome. We had a wicked coaching call last night. It's awesome to see so many of you just crushing results, getting better accountability. So many of you have given up your vices, the drugs, the alcohol, you know, the late nights, the partying, the running amok and doing all that stuff. And it's awesome to see your wins starting to stack. So thank you to all those out there who are part of my Dominate program. It's absolutely awesome to just be part of a community of people who are crushing results. All right, let's get into gap or game. So yesterday, I wrap up for the day. Well, I didn't wrap up because I had to do my coaching call. I finish up, I'm behind on a bit of work. Although I did crush it yesterday, I felt just that angst of, I haven't done enough. I haven't got enough done today. And this is the problem with all high performers. Any high achiever out there knows that what you do is probably never enough but it's controlling that thought. Now I have it every day. I feel like there's always more shit that I should be doing. And so I have to control that thought. It's a thought that I have consistently. But anyway, so I finish off, I'm frustrated. I'm not super frustrated, but I was just like, man, fuck, I've got so much more to do. Oh, I better go for a walk. So I said to Jess, come on, let's go for a walk. I needed to get out of the house and, and I needed to move. I needed to get my mindset back because I knew I had to eat and then I had to be on our dominate coaching call last night. Well, I didn't have to. I chose to be on that call. I love doing it. But you know, this is the thing, right? Like I have these self-talk issues as well, just like everybody else. And so I've got to talk myself into them and, and pick myself up on things. So anyway, I say, let's go for a walk. We head out. I asked her how her day was. She was running me through some stuff. And she said, how's your day? And I said, oh, I feel a bit frustrated just that I haven't got enough done today. And she said, well, are you in the gap or are you playing the game? And I was like, the fuck are you talking about? And she goes, well, are you in the gap where there's this gap between where you are and where you think you should be? Is there a gap between what you think you should have achieved and what you did achieve? And she started explaining that most people have this gap and it's a gap in their own psychology where they're always chasing something. And so they always feel like they're never enough or that they've never done good enough and they don't deal with what's directly in front of them. And she said, or are you playing the game, which means that you can see the game? So if you haven't done enough today, what did you gain from that? What's the game that you're playing? Now get back into the game so that you can just execute and get shit done. And I was like, wow. I mean, I'm the personal development guy. So I love doing personal development. I'm studying every day and, and doing a lot of reading. Now, I've never heard of gap or gain. And, and that's G-A-M-E and G-A-I-N. So gap and gain. I just said to her, this is like mind-blowing shit. So simple, but such a big like aha realization in my head. And this is the thing with personal development and personal growth. People who hit rock bottom all the time and who are starting at a very low level, they think that everything is big, big changes. So I was working with a client yesterday and I'll, I'll come back to what I was talking about, but I was working with a client yesterday. We get on the phone. She's off track a little bit, helped her to realign her goals. Now we'd booked out a one hour coaching session. After about 15 minutes, she's like, yep, I'm good. I got what I needed. I just needed that tweak and off she goes again. Now, the thing is that I perceive that great coaches are like bumper plates in bowling or bumper bars in bowling. If you just put them in, then all that happens is when someone goes off track, you just knock them back into their path again. And then you knock them back the other way and you just keep them moving in a straight line. That's great coaching, but that's also great clients. The problem is, is that most people go and do personal development or personal growth or they wait for personal development and personal growth for when everything's really, really bad. That's like going and seeing a doctor when you're sick, not going and seeing a doctor when you're healthy. Now, most of you out there who are listening would be like, well, why would you go and see a doctor when you're healthy? Well, to stay healthy, right? You're, you're maintaining and optimizing versus using a doctor when you're sick and breaking apart. Why do people have a coach when everything's going well? For optimization, because they want to get the best out of themselves. They want to end up moving at the speed of you know, super quick, the speed of light. They want to keep moving quick and they don't want to go too far off track. Now, if you think about it, if you throw the bowling ball and let's say there's no bumper on the other side and it's just a big open lane, okay? Or, you know, you roll a bowling ball just down a big straight road that's dead straight with nothing on the side, right? Let's say it's a thousand lanes wide. 
if you roll that ball and you don't have a bumper, all of a sudden the ball can start drifting off and it can go in the complete opposite wrong direction for miles. That's how most people operate in life because they'll only reach out for help when everything is really bad or when they're so far off track that shit's really, really bad. That First of all, that's a bad client. And for most people, you're going to probably go and see coaches that aren't used to working with high-level people. This is what I was actually talking to my client about this because she did my events many, many years ago. So I hadn't seen her for about five or six years. She had done my events, part like old events. And I said, have you noticed a difference in the community? And she said, yeah, you're working with all these like people that want to achieve, that want to grow, that want to do their best. And they're like really driven. And I said, yeah, that's a driven mofo community. And she said, I noticed that it doesn't matter where they're starting from, even if they're starting from rock bottom or they're broke. They actually have that drive mentality where they want to grow, they want to better themselves, and they know that this is part of the game. And so back in the old days, a lot of the people who were coming to your events were just wanting to be saved. They were the spirituality types who were always just going to a million different personal development events. Or they were the, I've hit rock bottom and I've lost everything types. So what my point is, is that if you want to achieve great things, you don't use a coach when you're at rock bottom, you use a coach for optimization. You don't hire a business coach because your business is a piece of shit. You hire a business coach because you want to optimize your business and get the best out of it. Now, like in a minute, one of my clients is rocking up. Now, he pays me 40 to 60 grand a year. Now, that's, I won't say a low-level employee, but it's not a CEO or chief operating officer type paycheck. So we're talking about like that's the average employee wage, right? That's what he pays to me. Now, most people don't see me as being an employee in their business, which is why most people have shitty businesses. Whereas he sees me almost as an employee where I need to have Michael, who's a coach, available for me when I need him, but we do strategy sessions and so on so that we can optimize growth. And that's how he thinks about it versus most people out there who are stuck and fucked and going around in circles. They're like, oh man, I wouldn't pay 60 grand for a coach. That's a lot of money. Or they say things like, you know, well, shit, I'm happy to pay it, but I just don't have the money now. But then they go out and they buy a brand new car and all that stuff. It's looking at things in a different direction. But anyway, let's come back to gap or gain. Jess said to me, what's the gain that you got? What, what did you gain out of today? And I said, well, I learned that I need to be more effective with my time. And she said, perfect. What else did you gain? And I said, well, I noticed that I was pretty effective throughout the day. Like I was on point with all my timelines. I had four coaching sessions booked in. So four hours of coaching. I had all my posting and stuff on social media. I do it all myself, not in TikTok and that, but definitely on Instagram and my personal Facebook page, I do all my own posting and I enjoy it. I'm the one who does all the DMs and stuff because that's where I get a lot of my sales. I said, I did that well. You know, my eating was on point yesterday. I still got in my workout, like at a quick workout. And she's like, see how much you gained. And I went, ah. She said, now you just got to get back in the game. Let's just play the card that's in front of you and let's keep rolling. And I thought that it was just such a simple but effective change or break state in my mind. It just changed my state completely. And then this morning I woke up again and got out of bed and just said, you know, how's everything going? I said, oh man, I got so much shit on today. And she's like, ah, you're in the gap, aren't you? And I went, ah, oh, fuck, I'm in the gap again. And she said, cool, what have you gained? And I'm like, all right, I just got to improve my time management again and tweak it. Now you'll find this, the more driven you are and the more you're achieving, the more you have to keep tweaking your time management. So like I'm, I'm pretty structured. I'm more structured than a lot of people and I am pretty good with my time management. Like I don't let things slip in. But this morning, I just noticed that I need to up it again. And so she said, you're in the gap again. What's the gain? I gain that I need to tweak my time management. I need to be a little bit more effective Maybe I need to wake up a little bit more earlier or, or something like that. I definitely have to start squeezing my time a bit more effectively. And she said, how do you feel? And I said, I'm back in the game. And she goes, good, that's all you need. So I wanted to share that this morning because you're probably either today in the gap or you're in the game. Now, if you're in the game, you're just focusing on what you can control and you're focusing on what you're doing and you're playing the game of life. You're playing the game of business or whatever you're doing. If you're in the gap, you're comparing yourself to where you think you should be and you'll be in that gap and you'll feel like shit. Now, you can stay there if you want, or you can go and find the gains, which is what am I gaining from being in this position? When you see it for what it is, then you win the game of life. Because ignorance is fear, and fear is ignorance. And so the more ignorant we are, the more we fear things, and the more we get stressed out and frustrated and worried and all of that. So we want to look at what we gained so that we can see things for what it is. Anyway, Driven Mofos, 
Have a great day. Keep kicking ass. And a massive shout out to all of you who have rated and reviewed my podcast. If you haven't rated this podcast yet, on the podcasting platform you're on, there should be a little star rating at the top of where it says my podcast. If you can just click on that and give me a star rating, that would be massively appreciated. I know the reviews keep going up or the star ratings keep going up. Please keep hitting that so we can get this out to more people and so we can keep pushing to get this out to the world, really. Okay, I'm trying to impact the world with this podcast. I want real relatable stuff that people can utilize and something every day of the week. Like doing this every day of the week is a pain in the ass, but I love it because I know for you guys, especially for the people who listen to this religiously on a daily basis, I know how important it is to start your day with some mindset work. So if you haven't already done so, please just rate this podcast with a star rating and on some of the platforms, you can review it as well and put down you know, a, a little bit of feedback as well. Anyway, Driven Mofos, have a great day. Keep kicking ass. And thanks for being part of this awesome community of Driven Mofos. Most people waste their life and I just don't want you to be one of them.